guys long time no see i hope that you are doing good so today i will be explaining the g o r which stands for gas oil ratio so we will be going directly to the definition we are having here um, kind of a standard definition which is the number of the standard cubic foot of gas contained in a barrel of oil <laughs> which is literally the explanation of the unit cubic foot by barrel number of standard cubic foot contained in a barrel you see so it will be so easy to memorize the definition just remember the unit then try to uh, make just a logical sentence but if you want a fancier uh, definition we are having this simple definition so we can say that the GOR is the quantity of the dissolved gas in the reservoir so it's the uh, approximately the, the same thing just explained in another way okay we will move to the next point so heavy oils with uh, of course lower api gravity so heavy oils has lower capacity to contain dissolved gas than lighter oils which means heavy oils have a low percentage of dissolved gas while uh, light oils have a lot or a bigger uh, percentage we move to the unit so either we have cubic foot per barrel or cubic meter per cubic meter we move to the range GOR in black oil systems typically range from 0 to approximately 2000 standard cubic foot per barrel well the good thing that the GOR value gives an indication of the type of the fluid okay so if our GOR is under 500 cubic meters by, uh, per cubic meters so the mixture will be oil okay if it is over 1000 cubic meters by cubic meters so it is gas or it is a condensate gas if the GOR is between 500 and 1000 cubic meter by cubic meter now we move to the most important point the bubble point for most purposes the GOR at the bubble point is the value of interest so at pressures above the bubble point pressure the oil is said to be under saturated while below the bubble point pressure the gas begins to come out of the solution and form a free gas phase and the oil is said to be saturated i will add something so important okay so when the pressure is above the bubble point pressure we are having a monophasic state which means that we are having only a liquid okay but while the pressure is below the bubble point pressure we're having two phase state which means that we are having liquid plus vapor okay this is so important last but not the least types of GOR so first of all the solution GOR that all people know so it is the solution GOR which is the amount of gas dissolved in the oil so all people know the solution GOR as GOR so we have the solution GOR while the pressure is above the bubble point pressure which means the monophasic state so we are only having a liquid with dissolved gases inside and we have the total or produced GOR in the opposite case 
uh, we will define it first okay so GOR it is the GOR that includes solution and free gas excluding gas lift gas so we are having solution which is this and free gas I will explain a little bit so in the previous case we only had dissolved gas but when the pressure is above the bubble point pressure gases will be liberated and go out which is the two phase state so we will be having both dissolved gas and free gas because gases won't be liberated 100 percent there will be there, there there still be some percentage of the dissolved gas the last one is formation gas it is the quantity of gas measured at a standard condition dissolved in one stock tank barrel of oil at current reservoir pressure and temperature which means it is the GOR measured in the reservoir conditions of pressure and temperature so guys we reached the end of the video i hope that it was beneficial and simple so i worked hard on this video i worked hard to make it um, this simple so please like and share if you want more videos goodbye